Most P5 and P6 students struggle to answer this, but can you solve this? Now, let's get Mrs. To to tell us the solution to this problem. As you can see, figure 1 shows a trapezium that has a parameter of 96. So this whole entire parameter gives us 96. And when Tia rejoins three such trapezium to form figure 2, which is on the right-hand side, it has a parameter of 204 cm. So all these sides here add up to 204. So usually when you see questions like that, what you can do is split the three trapeziums up. You notice that when I split them up, you will see that these lines are shown here. It is exposed now. So this is what we define as PQ because earlier in the question, you can see that the unknown is actually this PQ. So I'm going to label it as PQ and PQ. If I go around the rest of the sides, right, it's exactly the same as what we did earlier for the red sides. So actually the blue and the red sides add up to give you a larger parameter. We know that each of it is 96. So what we'll first do is to find the parameter of three trapezoids. And this will give us 288. This parameter is more than the figure 2 parameter because these two blue sides, when you expose, it becomes 4 blue, 4 PQ. So what we have to do is to find out the 4 PQs. We will take 288, which includes the red and the 4 PQ. So we minus away the red part, which is the parameter of figure 2. And that will give us 84. We can find 1 PQ. So we will just take 84 divided by 4. And that will give us the 21 cm. So that's the answer for the first part. Okay? And remember, always write units. Okay, next question. We'll cover all of these killer questions to give your child a head start for P6 during the Head Start Bootcamp during the school holidays. Limited seats available, so click the link below to secure your seat now.